Stopping by Woods on a Snowy Evening by Robert Frost Whose woods these are, I think I know. His house is in the village though. He will not see me stopping here to watch his woods fill up with snow. My little horse must think it cure to stop without a farmhouse near between the woods and frozen lake the darkest evening of the year. He gives his harness bells a shake to ask if there is some mistake. The only other sounds the sweep of easy wind and downy flake. The woods are lovely, dark and deep, but I have promises to keep and miles to go before I sleep and miles to go before I sleep. The Moon by Robert Louis Stevenson The moon has a face like the clock in the hall. She shines on the thieves on the garden wall, on streets and fields and harbour keys, and birdies asleep in the forks of the trees. The squalling cat and a squeaking mouse, the howling dog by the door of the house, the bat that lies in bed at noon, all love to be out by the light of the moon. But all of the things that belong to the day cuddle to sleep and be out of her way. And flowers and children close their eyes till up in the morning the sun shall arise. Rainy Night by Irene Thompson I like the town on rainy nights when everything is wet, when all the town has magic lights and streets of shining jet, when all the rain about the town is like a looking glass, and all the lights are upside down below me as I pass. In all the pools are velvet skies, and down the dazzling street a fairy city gleams and lies in beauty at my feet. The Solitary Reaper by William Wordsworth Behold her, single in the field, yon solitary highland lass, reaping and singing by herself, stop here or gently pass. Alone she cuts and binds the grain, and sings a melancholy strain. Oh listen, for the wail profound is overflowing with the sound. No nightingale did ever chaunt more welcome notes to weary bands of travellers in some shady haunt. Among Arabian sands a voice so thrilling never was heard in springtime from the cuckoo bird breaking the silence of the seas among the farthest Hebrides. Will no one tell me what she sings? Perhaps the plaintive numbers flow For old unhappy far-off things and battles long ago Or is it some more humble lay familiar matter of today Some natural sorrow, loss or pain That has been and may be again Whatever the theme the maiden sang As if her song could have no ending I saw her singing at her work And oh the sickle bending I listened motionless and still and as I mounted up the hill, the music in my heart I bore, long after it was heard no more. Sonnet 18 by William Shakespeare Shall I compare thee to a summer's day? Thou art more lovely and more temperate Rough winds do shake the darling buds of May, And summer's lease hath all too short a date. Sometimes too hot the eye of heaven shines, And often is his gold complexion dimmed, And every fair from fair sometime declines, By chance or nature's changing course untrimmed. But thy eternal summer shall not face, Nor lose possession of that fair thou owest, nor shall death brag thou wanderest in his shade. 
when in eternal lines to time thou growest. So long as men can breathe or eyes can see, so long lives this, and this gives life to thee. <laughs>